Book one, V saves EV. Blows up parliament. Does this, does that, does this, does that, tortures this guy, kills that guy, murders this guy, kills a priest. That's fine by me. Kills doctor, leaves journal. Finch reads journal. V kicks EV out the house. Book two. V takes over the TV studio, says a whole rant about some stuff, a lot of political and mumbo jumbo. Evie lives with Gordon and falls in love. Gordon dies. And then she's all like, oh no, the love of my life. One time, our God. Who wrote this crap? <laughs> okay, so she tries to kill his killer, but she gets kidnapped. Feed kidnaps Evie and jails her. Evie is tortured in prison. Finds letter from Valerie. Decides to die rather than cooperate. She's gonna get shot behind the chemical shed. Glorious, right? V sets her free. And uh, she decides to join him. Drop the E and the E and the Y and you get V. Start of the third book, everything's gone from to hell in a handbasket, right? Nobody's got any food, everybody's panicking, turning on the government. Civil unrest. Finch goes to Lark Hill, drops acid. And totally trip balls and has this total huge discovery, buck naked. V reveals that he has hack did into <laughs> <laughs> You wrote H A K. No, that's the best part. Evie finds out about this huge bomb in the subway system that's abandoned that's gonna be going straight to Parliament and blow that f up. Finch finds subway line. Leader gets killed, totally murdered. Finch shoots V. Evie takes over for V. Evie blows up Parliament. Round circle of EV, V, V, EV. There's so many V's. Finch walks off into the Dilf distance. Finch leaves work and walks into the darkness. Dot, dot. There's no third dot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying. I'm just gonna lie. End of book. Good. Movie wrong. That's because V for Vendetta is a Hollywood movie and it's a Hollywood blockbuster. V for Vendetta, the graphic novel, was an underground novel written for the people who actually wanted change. If you're a hardcore Alan Moore fan, you know that he thinks that his movies are unfilmable. V for Vendetta, the movie, was fantasy American schlock with V for Vendetta slapped onto it. <laughs> Is it easy to read? Yes, the text is quite easy to read. Unless you're DW. She has problems. With more, you are introduced to new characters and you follow those characters in more or less sequential order. However, once you get further into the story, you've got backstory for these characters now and you learn their motivation and what brought them to the first half of the story. There's more flashbacks. Then, only from there, can the story progress to the final conclusion. But also, he uses an expansion of time. V for Vendetta, when it was written, came out as one, not as one complete volume, but as sequential leaflets that came out. Moore uses the chapter breaks in the same way that a comic book artist would use gutter. Chapter breaks can cover anywhere from two, three days to two, three months to a year and so on. The question is, could these events happen in real life? And in a sense, they could. But how likely it is for these events to occur? Well, first of all, nuclear holocaust probably won't happen because it'll kill us all. Uh, the, the scares that that Moore talks about in this book could possibly have happened at that time and they could happen today. To be completely honest with you, Diane, yes, 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 it could be quite possible. One could find oneself in a, in a fascist state and it, it wouldn't, wouldn't be very good. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be very good at all.